my brother was born with cerebral palsy, and in 2004, he unfortunately had a, had a fall, and that created a problem with the spinal cord, and he was admitted at Parkwood until the swelling reduced, and then they had surgery, and as a result of that, he became wheelchair-bound. Um, he was still able to stand to some extent with a walker, and um, still able to transfer, and so we were able to keep our two-story home. And he had one little transfer, he slipped, and he, it wasn't even a hard fall, but that was enough to bruise his spinal cord again. And that's why he was admitted in two, uh, 2015 for the summer um, at Parkwood. And they did a full assessment and said, one more fall, he could die. This is called a lift. I don't know if there's another name for it, but that's what we call it. My mother um, struggled helping him in and out using the transfer board. And so I contacted the OT and I asked, is there anything we can do? Because my mother's back's not gonna survive. And that's when she said, let's try the lift. And But some people hate it and some people like it. So, um, we had we didn't have a choice to hate it so we tried it practiced it and um, about a month later I said yes we're gonna buy this and we use it all the time we use it to get him out of bed and back in the bed but we also use it to transfer him from his wheelchair to his uh, lounger chair um, and also from lounger chair to the commode um, so we use it all the time so I, on average I guess six times a day and uh, um, without this, my mother's back would totally be gone by now. What we need is a room at Participation House. That is the only place that is the perfect fit for my brother. And even Lynn, um, the local health integrated network, even Lynn said so, that Participation House is the best fit for Alex. So we have been on the wait list since 2004 and we just need a room because all it's going to take is one more fall, one more anything with my mother and both of them will be hospitalized. When the PSWs are here, they're able to give him the um, upper body exercises when he's lying down ready for bed. That's when my mother does the legs and stretches and so on. So she ha suffers from arthritis, um, pain all over, but she never misses a day. Um, and uh, he gets his physio, thanks to mama. And yeah, and, and, and every that, day, every, every day. Night. <laughs> uh, not able to keep up with the care that he needs, I called Participation House and I said, please be honest, what is the realistic um, timeline here? Because we can't wait another day. And we were told based on um, the frequency of uh, vacancy, it's not going to happen. And that's when I said, then I can't sit still and trust anymore. I have to make some noise.